everyone welcome to our third video uh, in our programming today we will talk more about the matrix operations so let's get started uh, remember we have seen the r bind function so let's create a matrix first and let's use the r bind function and we will plug in some numbers into our matrix let's say we choose the numbers 2 5 2 and then we create another row and we will bind these together let's say 6 1 4 you can change these numbers that's not um, these are just random values we select so we can see that this is our matrix a that we created now so one of the uh, fundamental operations we can do is the transpose of a matrix. So in R, we do this by using T uh, of A. So that will return us the transpose of this matrix. And basically you can apply the transpose twice if you like, and that's going to return you the original matrix back which is our matrix A, basically, that's the same, okay? Um, and again, one of the other useful matrices that uh, you might use often um, is the identity matrix. And how we can create an identity matrix in R. So we can do this, let's say, uh, let's create matrix B and we will do the diagonal and we will specify the number of uh, rows and columns basically that's going to be the the same and we can try this so our matrix uh, b is the identity matrix with three diagonal elements as we specified here So this diagonal di diag function can uh, easily produce us the identity matrix and we can change this uh, number of rows and columns as we like. Okay, so let's move on to some other matrix uh, algebra and operations we commonly use. Uh, next one we can talk about scalar basically multiple of a matrix. So we can multiply the elements of our matrix with a scalar value. Okay, and um, let's do another example here. Suppose, so let me copy paste this here. We still use the same matrix. This is our matrix A, let's say, as we created here. And uh, let's say we have a scalar we call this as C and let's say this is equal to 3 okay and I'm going to multiply C times A so if we run this completely we can see that each element of my uh, matrix A is multiplied by 3 so this is 2 times 3 6 5 times 3 equals to 15 2 times 3 equals to 6 and so on so every element is multiplied with this uh, with the scalar value okay other matrix operations fundamental operations obviously you want to do matrix addition uh, and subtraction so two matrices of equal size uh, we can uh, perform this addition and subtraction element wise in an element by element fashion and uh, the corresponding elements are added or subtracted from one another whether depending on depending on whether you are doing uh, addition or subtraction uh, so let's see again with an example let's let's use the same matrix a and then let's create another matrix uh, let's call this b and uh, Ah, by the way, we can we don't have to use always R bind. We can also use column bind, and uh, you can see 
basically we can bind the columns given by these vectors. So this is the first column and we have the second column. The, we bind them together. So let's create now another matrix using column bind operation as well. And let's call this, uh, let's give some arbitrary values uh, for the columns now. And we can also use the decimals, let's say 3.4, uh, 8.2, minus 9.8, let's say. Okay, again, some arbitrary values that we created uh, our matrices for the example. So this is my matrix A and matrix B now. So you can try to do the addition and we can try to do the subtraction with our matrices A and B. So addition, as we can see, we have added the elements of A and B to minus 2, we get 0, 6, 3.4, 9.4, and so on. So this is the element by element addition. Uh, two matrices are added together. And for the subtraction, now you can see 2 uh, and mi minus minus 2 is plus 2, so it's 4, as you can see, the first element. And then you have uh, 6 minus 3.4, which is 2.6 and so on. So these are the, the values that you will get from this uh, operation. The next uh, is the matrix multiplication. So this time, uh, remember from al linear algebra that you can multiply two matrices A and B of size, let's say M and N, if we have m number of rows and n number of columns, and if we have another matrix with p and q, let's say row and column numbers, then we require that the n should be equal to uh, p. Okay. So in other words, we, in concrete terms, if we have a let's say three by three matrix, uh, we can multiply this with a three by two matrix or three by one matrix. Okay. So these are. Uh, uh, some possible examples. So again, let's do um, an example. I can copy paste my matrix and put it here. But we can change these numbers, obviously. You can make some changes here. And you need to, let's check our dimensions of this matrix A first before we do the uh, multiplication. So this is a 2 by 3 and we can see our matrix A. So we have two rows and three columns. It's a two by three matrix. Okay. Now I'm going to create another matrix. And um, again, let's, let's use, and we can change the numbers if we like. Uh, we can put some other numbers. It doesn't matter. Or let's make it just integers for the moment. And you can again check this matrix and the dimensions of matrix B this time. So our second matrix is 3 by 2. Okay, the first one was 2 by 3 and 3 by 2. So uh, according to our knowledge, we know that uh, 2 by 3 times 3 by 2 matrix, we will get a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, uh, 